Now, the man who fatally shot Kate Steinle on San Francisco's Pier 14 will have to wait at least until tomorrow to learn his fate. KPIX 5 reporter Emily Turner is live at the Hall of Justice where the jury has gone home for the day without rendering a decision. Emily? No, but it is in their hands. They got the case today. They will pick it back up tomorrow at 9 a.m., which is one hour earlier than normal because they have a short day due to the holiday until noon. So we potentially could have a verdict as early as lunchtime. Weeks of testimony, presenting evidence and arguments, Jose Garcia Zarate's murder trial is coming to a close. While the jury deliberates the fate of the man who shot Kate Steinle at Pier 14, all eyes turn to the parties involved. Make no mistake about it, our office is committed to doing everything we can to bring the Steinle family justice. They've shown incredible resolve during this very difficult time. We had a chance to uh, speak briefly uh, with uh, Mr. Garcia Zarate. Uh, he's hopeful. But beyond that, the attorneys didn't want to say much until a verdict is reached. Intentionality. That's the big question here. Why did he do this? Was this an accident? Was it absolute recklessness with no care at all for human life? Or was it something he did intentionally by focusing on Ms. Steinle? Criminal defense attorney Anthony Brass says a few moments will determine the rest of Jose Garcia Zarate's life. What were the circumstances leading up to the moment that gun was fired? Was it murder? or manslaughter. The problems that they face are the defense can't get away from the fact that something has to actually pull that trigger and that's going to look like a higher level of intent and they have to deal with that. And I think the prosecution is dealing with the fact that this crime, this, this, this killing makes no sense. It's not a robbery, there's no relationship between the parties and I think that's challenging when pursuing a murder verdict. If Garcia Zarate is found guilty of manslaughter, he could face about four years in jail. On the other end of the scale, if he's found guilty of murder, he could face up to life in prison. Reporting live at the Hall of Justice, Emily Turner, KPIX 5.